Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and this is Trailers from Hell. Right now we're going to look at one of my favorite films from my childhood, 1967's kooky comedy, Who's Minding the Mint? Hearted strongholds. Millions are made here, and not a single dollar has ever been lost. Until one day, this bright young man makes an innocent mistake that erupts into unbelievable consequences. It's impossible to overstate the impact Sid Caesar's television series had. It premiered on TV in 1950, and it really became ground zero for American comedy in the modern age. It set the template for all that followed, and its influence is still being felt. I mean, it was a 90-minute sketch comedy show broadcast live from New York on Saturday night. Sound familiar? Its creative staff went on to shape the comedy world. Mel Brooks, Carl Reiner, Neil Simon, Woody Allen, these guys are all legends. Well, add to that list Howard Morse, the director of Who's Mining the Mint. He came off of your show shows. He was extremely funny as a performer. You've seen him in a thousand things, from Jerry Lewis's The Nutty Professor to Tom Hanks' Splash. He also did a lot of cartoon voices on stuff like The Flintstones and The Jetsons. He only directed a couple films, uh, with Six You Get Egg Roll and the Jackie Gleason version of uh, Woody Allen's Don't Drink the Water. Who's Mining the Mint is by far his best work. Them drains in that part of town are awful deep. We need what? A boat? A boat to sail a sewer? Wait a minute, no problem. I get just the guy to build us a boat. It's sort of the bastard son of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Uh, Mad World was so successful that it spawned a lot of these multi-star comedies. This one actually shares a few cast members from Mad World, uh, Milton Berle and the underrated Dorothy Provine. This film has a great plot. A guy who works for the U.S. Mint has accidentally taken and destroyed $50,000. In order to cover up his deed, he needs to sneak back into the mint after hours and do some reprinting. But he can't do such a big job all by himself, so he acquires a gang. And as the gang gets bigger, so does the amount of cash they are going to make. I mean, come on, since we're already running the presses, let's make enough to take away all our various problems. Jim Hutton plays the lead, and I've always liked him. He rose to stardom in a series of romantic comedies paired with the wonderful Paul Apprentice. He was sort of too light for movies, and he moved into television, and, and he had a great TV show in the 1970s, a mystery series, Ellery Queen. The show had a fun gimmick. Each week, right at the moment Ellery figured out the crime, he turned and talked directly into the camera, asking if the audience had solved the mystery. The rest of the cast in this movie is pretty wacky. You got Oscar winner Walter Brennan. You got Jack Guilford as a death safe cracker. Bob Denver is an ice cream man. Joy Bishop works in the sewers. Victor Bono is a pseudo sea captain. And there's even a pre mash Jamie Farr. And one of the cool things about this movie is you really get to look at the process of how money is made at the Mint. It's not a documentary, but it's very interesting. And to top it all off, there's a terrific score by Lalo Schifrin. 